I really thought I was going to bring you a match play video today, but instead I'm going to try to bring you guys a video on how to beat this type of opponent. What's up guys? Welcome back to another Tweener Red Tennis video today here on the channel. And if you are new to the channel, hey, how's it going? My name's Phil and this is where we get to talk about tennis in a more casual way for you guys to understand what's going on on and off the court and just to have some fun with the sport of tennis itself. Now today, I came back from a UTR tournament that I just played, played my first match, won my first round 6-2, 6-2, great win for me. I thought it was good. I played well. I kept my composure. The guy was really nice. Second match, I knew the guy that I was playing. He was hurt. He wasn't feeling well. And we he wanted to go on straight away so that way we can get the match over with, which was great. I thought it was fine. I was waiting around for a little bit. I even missed my DoorDash order because he wanted to go on court. But after I realized that we were playing, I realized that I was not in control of the match at all. I went into this match where I thought it was going to be an easy win. I thought it, he was going to retire. I thought he was going to give me the win. So once I realized that I was still losing to a guy that was not 100%, I started to get frustrated. I started to lose my cool because I was wondering to myself, what what's going on? This should have been easy. This should have been, I should have been on to the next round. I should be playing the next day. I should be playing on Sunday. But that wasn't the case. So instead of complaining, about this i wanted to give you guys some tips on how to beat an easy opponent now when i say an easy opponent this means that i was going into the match with the mindset of i'm automatically gonna win i'm guaranteed that he's not gonna play well i'm guaranteed that he's not gonna play his best he's not gonna play his game and that is definitely the wrong mindset that you should go into a match if you know something's wrong with a player or if you know he's not 100 percent that doesn't mean that you are guaranteed to win. That doesn't guarantee you anything. And I wanted to give you guys three tips on how to beat a player that you think you should beat, even though it's not 100% guaranteed at all. The first tip I have to give you guys is focus on yourself. Now, I say that because you're too focused. I was too focused on him being injured. I was focused on what he's gonna do. I was too focused on what I can't control, which is how he's feeling and i wasn't focused on what shots i should be hitting i wasn't focused on my patience i wasn't focused on my shot selection i thought it would be easy and after a while i realized these shots that i'm hitting weren't good enough they were good but he was still tracking them down i was so confused like he's hurt he shouldn't be running these down but in reality he was still getting to everything he was still hitting good shots he was still a higher ranked utr player than me this wasn't an easy win at all. This was not something that I should be looking at him towards and blaming him for. This is something on myself. This is something that I lost focus on. I lost focus on my game. I lost focus on my rhythm. For you guys that are watching this and wondering why I was thinking like that, because I wasn't allowing myself to get into the right mindset of who or how I'm playing. Because that brings me on to my second point. My second tip for you guys is stick to your routines. And what I mean by that is, what makes you comfortable? What do you go through before a match or during a match that makes you feel good, which makes you relax, which makes you feel in control of the match? Because we were talking, we were chatting while we were warming up, and I felt like I wasn't in control at all because I wasn't doing my proper serve routine. I wasn't doing my proper warm up. He was trying to rush it all because he wasn't feeling good. And I didn't take time for myself to bounce the ball three times, bounce the ball four times, breathe, make sure I'm extending my arm on my serve, making sure I'm not rushing to any ball, turning too early. Not allowing myself to get into the routine of getting comfortable within the match. Because this all goes back to the first tip that I was saying is focusing on yourself. I never got to do that. I never felt like I was doing that. I felt it at times and I thought like, Oh, okay, I should be doing well. I should be doing better. But in reality, I couldn't take anything for granted. I couldn't take anything for a guaranteed win. I couldn't take anything for that. Because in the end, if I still make more mistakes than he does, he still wins. It doesn't matter if he's hurt or not. It really doesn't matter. So if your opponent is guaranteed an easy win, it's not. It never is. So for my first tip, it's focus on yourself. For my second tip, is stick to your routines to make yourself comfortable and make yourself more relaxed throughout the match. And the, and the third tip I have for you guys is don't focus on what's ahead. Focus on the now. Focus on each point as it comes along. Because I was thinking, 
okay, I just have to play a few matches, uh, play a few games, make him run a little bit more than he has to, and then I'll make him retire. <laughs> Did it happen? No, because I'm an idiot. And you have to realize that you can't look that far ahead. You have to figure out what you can work on now. You have to focus on the point that is happening right now. How do I strategize this point? How do I go into this point? What am I going to do before I do it? Make sure I'm executing my shots. Where am I going to place the ball? All these things to make sure that you're winning the point that you're playing. Not making sure that, okay, if I do this, do this, do this, I'm going to win 6-2. All I have to do is hold my serve the entire time. Make sure I don't break my serve. Yeah, those are goals, but you're not focusing on the now. Focus on each point that you're playing. Focus on, okay, make sure you get your second serve in. Okay, make sure that you're gonna play this point with some patience. Make sure you are patient. So I kept looking too far ahead like, okay, I'm guaranteed the swing. Okay, how long until he retires? Like it didn't happen for a long time and I just got impatient with it. And it, it just turned into a disaster and I lost. And that's because I wasn't doing any of these tips that I was giving you guys because I want you guys to learn from my mistakes and hopefully you guys can do better from learning from my mistakes as well. And I'm gonna throw in a 3A fourth rule is just staying patient, which kind of transitions into focusing on yourself and focusing on your own game because you have to stay patient with people like that, with players that you think you're gonna beat for some reason what, and it, it rarely does because you have to stay patient even if they are a pusher, even if they're making the points long, even if they're hitting slow shots and they still get to the next ball. Just because you hit a harder ball or you hit a ball in a different direction doesn't guarantee you to win the point at all. So you have to stay patient and make sure that you're still focusing on yourself and what you can control rather than what you think you can control, which is him possibly retiring, him not playing his best match. So it's still a possibility. So you never really know. And I just wanted to give you guys those tips of what I was going through during this match from the tournament this weekend. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you want more tips, make sure you are subscribed to the channel as well as making sure you leave a big like on this video. I hope to see you guys very soon. Check us out on all our social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, for more insight into tennis, more tips, anything like that. All the links to those are down in the description below as well as our website at tweenerheadtennis.com. I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks guys.